abortions in Iowa. A major ruling from the Iowa Supreme Court today. The state's six-week abortion ban can be enforced. And Iowa's heartbeat law taking effect. Today's Supreme Court decision to uphold Iowa's heartbeat law is sending waves across the state. Good evening. I'm Jessica Bowman. Thanks for joining us on a very narrow four to three vote. The Iowa Supreme Court has reversed a lower court ruling that put a temporary block on the state's strict abortion law and is telling the lower court to let the law take effect. In today's ruling, the high court told the lower court to dissolve the temporary injunction and continue with further proceedings. The new law bans most abortions after six weeks. The bench's majority ruling is considered seated, a win everyone. for Republican lawmakers. And right now, KPIV Iowa political director Dave Price joins us live with a breakdown of this ruling. And Dave, really just tonight, we want you to shed some light on this decision by the Iowa Supreme Court. Well, this would be a significant change in the law. Now it is something that abortion opponents have pushed for for years. I think there have been six court cases in the last eight years involving the issue of abortion. So this has been very prominent, very active in the legal system. And so supporters like Governor Kim Reynolds, who had signed the original bill into law, Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd, top state house Republican leaders, they have all celebrated the ruling today saying that this will save and protect lives. Critics say this will put the lives of some women in danger some women don't know that they're pregnant by six weeks. And if you look at the exceptions, it is to protect the life of the mother, not the health of the mother. So they say that there could be some cases here where a doctor may not think the mother's life is in jeopardy, but it could put the mother at serious and permanent health risk if she does not have an abortion. They also say that a rape survivor would no longer be able to keep the assault private and go seek an abortion. The victim, the survivor would have to go to at least confide in a medical provider to explain what had happened to find out if she's eligible to get the abortion. So a lot of things we're waiting to find out more guidance on. How will doctors determine some of this? If the district court does not take any additional action, and that would be unexpected to see any additional action, this law could go into effect in about three weeks. Politically speaking, if you look at the polls, mm -hmm. this is not what the majority of Iowa adults want. It goes too far. Clearly, if you fundamentally do, do not believe in abortion in any way, or at least in most ways, this is something you've been waiting for the majority of the Iowa adults surveyed in polls do not believe that and they think that we should go back to what it was before at least. So politically, there'll be a lot of things to follow on this, especially since this is an election year and you'll see this issue come up in some of these legislative races, Jessica. All right, great points there. KTV Iowa political director Dave Price, as always, thanks for joining us tonight. And you know, Dave had mentioned reaction to the ruling today. So let's take a look at some of the reaction from state leaders. Governor Kim Reynolds did release a statement saying, quote, there is no right more sacred than life and nothing more worthy of our strongest defense than the innocent unborn. As the heartbeat bill finally becomes law, we are deeply committed to supporting women and planning for motherhood and promoting fatherhood and its important in parenting, end quote. Iowa Attorney General Brenna Byrd weighing in on the Supreme Court decision today, as Dave mentioned. Now, she applauded the court's ruling to uphold Iowa's heartbeat ball law, saying, quote, today's Supreme Court decision to uphold Iowa's heartbeat law sends a loud and clear message. Iowa stands for life. As Attorney General, I have been so grateful to defend Iowa's heartbeat law and protect the unborn. While today's decision is a landmark victory, we know that there is work left to be done, end quote. In response to the ruling, President and CEO of Planned Parenthood States, Ruth Richardson, said, quote, Today's dangerous and reprehensible ruling will impact Iowans for generations to come. Abortion is essential, time-sensitive health care. People deserve to have the full range of sexual and reproductive health care they need including abortion, no matter their zip code, end quote. 